Welcome everyone. Here is one quick video with brief explanation of partial derivatives and one example of first order partial derivative. Let's do a partial derivative of this function. f is equal to x squared y cubed z plus 3x cubed y plus cosine z. When we are given a function of two or more variables, like in this example, x, y, and z, the partial derivative of the function f with respect to x gives the change rate of the function with respect to this x. Partial derivative is computed by taking the first derivative of the function f with respect to x while treating all other variables as constants, in this example y and z. The partial derivative is denoted by the curved symbol d, which replaces the letter d which was used to denote full derivative. When we are given a function of the variables x and y, the partial derivative of the function with respect to x is denoted with partial derivative of f with respect to x. And this is a first order partial derivative. The second order partial derivative is denoted by this. Partial derivative squared of the function divided by partial derivative of x squared. A partial derivative of the function with respect to y can be written as this. So, partial derivative of the function with respect to y, and this is a first order partial derivative, and partial derivative squared of the function divided by the partial derivative of y squared. Today, we'll work on this example and we will do only first order partial derivative. Please watch my other video where I explain how to do a second order and mixed derivatives. Now let's get started. We have this function and let's find, let's do partial derivative of the function with respect to z. As we said earlier, when computing partial derivatives of a function with respect to one variable, all other variables are treated as constants. Therefore, to find the partial derivative of the function f with respect to z, the other variables x and y will be held fixed. So, the derivative of the function with respect to z is the following. Partial derivative with respect to z and now here I will write this function x squared y cubed z plus 3x cubed y plus cosine z. Differentiation is a linear operation, which means each term here can be considered separately. And that is how I will work today. When you practice more, you can do this and you will do this in one line altogether. But today I will work separately with each term. So we look and we see that the partial derivative with respect to z of the first term here, x squared y cubed z is equal to so we have z variable here and uh, x squared y cubed is considered as a constant so we will just write it here and uh, derivative of z is simply 1 so we don't write 1 here in front so partial derivative with respect to z of the second term 3x cubed y we see here we don't have the z variable. This means that uh, we have here a derivative of a constant. A derivative of a constant is simply 0. 
And now the last term, partial derivative of with respect to z of cosine z. A derivative of cosine z is minus sine z. So the partial derivative of the function with respect to z is equal to the partial derivative of z of the whole function plus 3x cubed y plus cosine z is equal to x squared y cubed minus sine z. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching.